In today's tutorial, we are actually using the navigation bar to locate specific text, including word, characters, and carrots. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, display results in the navigation page. And we'll come up here to the top left-hand corner. And we'll click in the search section here in the navigation right beneath the word navigation and the first thing we want to do is we want to review the search results that we have entered so let's go with a popular word here and we could use the word content in the search results we are able to review different headings here which is pretty cool and every heading that is highlighted in yellow tells us that the word content is found within that heading or under that subject the next thing we want to do is to point to search result to display the page number okay so let's go to fake engagement policy we'll click there and the screenomatic countdown section here is kind of like hiding that but i hope you could see where it says page four of six right so it's telling us that we're on page four right and in total we have six pages in the document now we'll head to the click search result to move to location Alrighty, so uh, let's click impersonation policy. And as you can see over here on the right hand side where we have our pages, it jumped right to the heading impersonation policy. And we see all the words content that is there. The next thing we're going to do is uh, use the next button to move through the results. Now, the next button would be on the top left hand corner here under the navigation search bar would be these up and down arrows. So let's try something different. Let's use, um, let's see what type of characters we have here that we could work with. I don't think we have any characters here yeah let's use the um what would you call this the uplifted comma so let's highlight that content and then we're going to type over it uplifted comma and we have uh, 46 results so we're going to use our next button our up and down arrows to just locate all the uplifted commas here as you can see in total it's telling us it's 46 of them and we're on the 35th one and we can go through and through each and every one we just have a ton of them in there maybe in your microsoft word you'll see a next button i'm using the newest microsoft word maybe in your microsoft word you'll see a next button but it's all similar you should be able to navigate it all the same then we have the clear search results with um, the backspace button or with the X. So we could either like backspace to clear the search result or we could press X to clear the search results. Another cool feature also is that as you go through the document, especially for the headings, you'll see it highlight here in the navigation search pane so let's say we go to what happens if content violates this policy you see it highlight here on the left hand side it's actually a pretty cool feature it's very easy to use it's very useful let's jump to um additional policies and there you see we jump right back up to the heading and it even tells us how many pages we have here in this bar which would be six pages in total and um, our results. Let me just type back the word content in there and you'll see all the results in the navigation search section. You won't even have to go over into the document to see all of that. So you have it 
two fold where you could see everything. I trust that this video was useful to you. This channel is dedicated to everything Microsoft Word. Please ensure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell beside the subscribe button so you get notified each time I upload a new video about Microsoft Word. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.